Kirk McKenzie. Um, I don't know if the West Indies could not update the squad at the time when they started or at, at the end of the test squad. But Kirk McKenzie was probably one of the most obvious persons that should be in the squad. He was playing a test match. He was scoring freely and he was one of the most attacking batsmen in Australia at the moment. He was in farm. The West Indies should have at least considered him for that squad. Welcome again to Red Narrative where it's okay to be curious. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. Now I want to chime in on that first ODI against Australia. West Indies in that three match series. West Indies, they lost that one outright. It was just a beatdown. And I said that this team is one of those teams that could get whitewashed. Shea Hope is saying that West Indies need to find a way to put the bowlers from the opposition under pressure because the loss came down to lack of intent from the batsmen. Now, that's a very bold statement to make because if there was any lack of intent, it would be lack of intent from the squad. What was the intention behind the squad that they sent out there? What was the intention behind the team that they put out there? Um, yes, Alzar Joseph is in the team. Are they resting Alzar Joseph or is he injured? What was the intention behind that? Behind the team that went out there on the pitch? It was a very bad display. It was a bad display of the bad performance overall. And it was just not one of the best squad. Ultimately, the West Indies need to do better because as i said i could choose players who are not out there not a part of the team not even in conversation who people would have known those players would have had the experience and it just makes sense apart from that we saw where the test match era shamar joseph went back home and he was able to to jump right into an international contract with the West Indies. Why do you think that the West Indies decided to give him an international contract? I know that there are lots and lots of players in the West Indies, in the Caribbean, all over the place who would love to get an international contract. But they, and even with years of experience, even with years of service to the West Indies, they still cannot get an international contract. They might be able to get like a minimal contract. I don't even know what the contracts are. But Shamar Joseph was able to get an international contract is it that the west indies are making an effort to retain him to the point where they can ask of him they can make requests for him to make himself available to play for the west indies versus making himself available to go play for franchise teams all over the place what do you guys think is the reason for the west indies making such a decision now we are seeing that the West Indies test era Shamar Joseph and Royal Challengers Bangalore Radar for IPL 2024. You can see how your life can change in just a moment. This is this goes for success and failure. You know, Shamar Joseph, he left the Caribbean, he met up with the test team. The co the captain of the test team met him three weeks before they played the first match. He went out there, he won with the team. And he became a hero. Ultimately, opportunities are coming in, coming in his direction. Opportunity continues to chase him. And it's just a good look. And this is how success can push you forward. And it's the same way how, how failures can pull you back. Because it just takes one failure. He could The injury on his toe. You see how that set him back a little bit? Life is just one unpredictable ride, right? So we have to just make the best of it. Shea Hope optimistic ODI unit can replicate test triumph. At this point, I don't see that happening. I think the, 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 the team that they have out there, not good enough. Far from good enough. You know, the team that they have out there doesn't have the... It, it, the captain is saying that the batting intention is not there, but I don't think the squad had any real intention behind it. Where is Odin Smith? Where are some of those batsmen who would have had an impact in australia it's a it's a it's a pace pitch there are some pitches that is conducive to bounce some that is conducive to pace you know the pitch that they played on it was more of a bounce pitch the players with pace intention players with experience and those who are hungry to make something for themselves those players are not necessarily exposed i sometimes wonder what is the real intention behind west indies cricket board to be very honest with you Sometimes I wonder if they just want to expose as many players as possible to get as many players into the pool to get into franchise cricket. 
not sure really not sure this is one Lee one series that I will have to just go, keep watching see where it goes and just comment as as I see it if the if the West Indies is able to pull off a victory in this series it would be a victory for the West Indies overall winning the series overall is an outright victory but even if they are able to win a single match in the series that would be like a series win because the West Indies really have no team, no team out there they don't have a bowling team and they don't have a batting team they have the captain who potentially could put up, put up some resistance but let's face it a lot of these players without other players that they can feed off they are not really good captains let's face it they are not the best captain unless they have other players who are at the level of them up at their level are even higher the only captain i've seen in the west indies so far that motivates the team and somehow pull the best out of the team is rafman powell and so far based on the praises that we saw from craig bratwick he somehow motivates his team but darren sammy from what we have seen as a coach he could rally the troops but sending the, the squad that we saw going out there in that first match it's just it's just an experiment at this point i can't imagine the west indies pulling off a victory and yes let's put this one into perspective kirk mckenzie um i don't know if the west indies could not update the squad at the time when they started or at, at the end of the test squad but kirk mckenzie was probably one of the most obvious persons that should be in the squad he was playing a test match he was scoring freely and he was one of the most attacking batsmen in australia at the moment he was in farm the west indies should have at least considered him for that squad you know drop your comments down below and let me know what you think rewrite the narrative like share subscribe